Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how, in just a few steps, you can use the analysis software Testo IRSoft to analyze thermal images from the field of building thermography and document them in a report. For this purpose, I'm going to use a few example images of thermal weak spots in a building, which I've recorded using a Testo thermal imager. I now connect the thermal imager to my computer by USB. The import assistant opens in order to assist you to transfer the images to your PC. I click on Next, select the directory with the images to be imported, click on Next, decide to save them on the desktop, and finished. I click on Open in order to load the thermal images into the software. First of all, I'll show you how to use the profile line function. In this thermal image, there are cold bridges visible on the front of the building, here under the windows. Using the profile line, you can quickly and easily show the customer the temperature difference to the rest of the building front. To do this, simply select the temperature profile function, mark the desired area, and we can already see the temperature curve of the profile line in the diagram below. We are additionally shown the minimum value, the maximum value, and the mean temperature value. I can also show individual temperature values simply by mouse over. With the help of the Twin Picks function, I can overlay a thermal image with a stored real image in the Testo IRSoft. This helps to better visualize the position of the underfloor heating, for example. I start Twin Picks, and the assistant guides me through the function. For the overlay, Four identical markings are made in the thermal image and the real image. I can then set the transparency level between the real and the infrared image and can color the upper temperature limit values. Here you can see very well where the underfloor heating is situated in the tiled floor. I finished the image and have now guaranteed that the underfloor heating will not be damaged in the case of any constructional changes. The hot and cold spot recognition and the previously mentioned profile line assist me when testing radiators for weak spots. With the help of the hot cold spot recognition, I can clearly demonstrate the temperature difference between the hottest and the coldest point in the thermal image. I start with the cold spot. I mark the area to be examined on the radiator, and the spot is immediately displayed. The temperature here is 31 degrees. With the hot spot, I proceed exactly the same way. I mark the area to be examined on the radiator, and the hot spot is displayed. It has a temperature of 47.6 degrees. Thanks to the profile line, which we are already familiar with, I can now also clearly visualize the temperature curve in the thermal image. Here we can see the minimum and maximum values as well as the mean temperature value. I will now document the processed thermal images in a report together with other images which have been made. To do this I select the report, go to the report assistant and select a standard report from the numerous templates. I add all images. Next, here I have to upload my company data and a company logo once, then they are saved for all further reports. Here I can save the position, address, and other information on the measurement site and the customer. And here I can give more details on the job as well as an up-to-date summary for my customer. I then click on Next and a preview of the report is shown. As you can see here, all images and the corresponding information are visible. I'll now save the report in Testo's own TIR format, which allows me to further process the report later on. However, to be able to send it to my customer, I save it in PDF format and can later send it by email.